before the video starts, I just want to say that I just released a bunch of new merch, including gradient red shirt and pants, gradient blue shirt and pants, and black, blue, green, and red t-shirts. So click the link in the description if you want to get some of the merch. Welcome back to another Blocks Roots video. In this video, I'm going to be killing every boss with Awakened Doe. Alright, so the first boss is Gorilla King, who is at jungle. This shouldn't be too hard, because it is Awakened Doe that we're using, after all. Alright. Die, Gorilla King! Not too hard, not too hard. This might be the first time I ever buy this in my life. Alright, it's time for you to die, Bobby. Doe combo! Get absolutely comboed. Alright, now we're gonna kill Saw. Die! This guy might be a little bit more tricky. Yeah, he has way more health. Oh no, I messed up. I need to not forget that I have Doe Fists also. And boom, he's dead. Alright, Yeti, it's your time to die. Doe combo. This fruit is too good. Look at these peasants. They can't even hit me. Alright, next up is Mob Leader. I think this guy's technically a boss, so we're gonna kill him. But he's really weak. Like, look at this dude. He's in the ceiling. Not allowed. What is going on? This guy is going a little bit crazy. But he is dead. Alright, next up is the Vice Admiral. Now, this guy's pretty easy, too, because he pretty much only uses melee. Missile jab. The punches are too good. Alright, now we're at the prison. There's actually three bosses here we need to kill. Starting off with the warden. Now they're starting to get harder to kill. And he's dead. No, he's not. He's not dead. Die, please. Okay, thanks. Alright, next up is Chief Warden. So this guy's even more difficult. But he's still easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I've, like, only said that, like, once in my life. I don't know what's gotten into me. The punches are too good. He can't get near me. And he is dead. Alright, next up we got Swan. Now, this guy's a little bit harder. But hopefully, I should be okay. The punch. He just gets slammed into the wall. And he is dead. No, he isn't. How is he alive? Explain this to me. Okay, now he's dead. Okay, next up is Saber Expert. This guy is also pretty easy. Shouldn't be too difficult. And boom, he's dead. Alright, Magma Admiral. Your time has come. Go combo! Where is he? How am I out of here? No, I will not let this happen. Ah, the lava! I don't want to die to the Magma Admiral. Aha, you're stuck. You're stuck, you can't move. I missed. Although, I would like it if he wasn't on the Magma. That would be nice. Oh my gosh. Just a few more hits. And he is dead. How does he live that? I don't understand. Now he's dead. Okay, next up is Fishman Lord. Let's see if this is actually difficult or if he is easy. I think this is another one that's just easy. Awakened Doe is too good. Look, I can just punch him and he dies. Alright, this is his second form. He's still easy. This boss is easy. No match for Awakened Doe. You know what? I'm gonna use Spiky Trident too because it's Doe themed. And he is dead. Alright, next up is Weisper or Whisper. I have no idea how you say it. But uh, he uses a bazooka and he is, once again, no match for Awakened Doe. Hey, your fight is with me. This fruit is just too good. 
They need to nerf this fruit. The punches are too good. He can't come near me. You missed. And he's dead. Alright, next up is Rumble God. He uses the Rumble Fruit, but I still think he's going to be no match for Awakened Doe. You can't even hit me while I'm doing that move. I'm invincible when I'm doing that move. Let's see if I can just abuse the punches. Every boss is weak compared to Awakened Doe. And he's dead. Alright, I'm going to roll a fruit because now I have enough to roll a fruit. Hopefully it's something good. Flame. Eh. Not the best. Alright, last but not least, boss of the first C is the Cyborg. This boss is actually pretty strong for this stage because he has a ton of moves. Ow. Firework. Ah! Ah! If you made it this far in the video, comment what your dream fruit is in the comment section. And he is dead. Alright, we're in second C now. Now sadly, I have to waste more Robux on this stupid game pass that is definitely not worth 50 Robux. Okay, next up is Diamond. Let's see if this guy's actually strong. I killed the tree. Ah! Okay. He seems to be a little bit stronger. This move is too good. This fruit is too good. I can't say this enough. This fruit is just insane. Alright, and he's dead. Okay, next up is Jeremy, the spring user. Last time I fought this guy, I was using Awakened Buddha. So, maybe it will be maybe it will be way harder with Awakened Doe. Although, that does not appear to be the case. He seems to just be easy. Easy. Ow, that kind of hurt. Look at these bosses get shredded. Combo. Oh, I got black spiky coat. Alright, next up is Fajita, the gravity user. He shouldn't be too hard unless I get hit by like a meteor shower or something. Well, he tried to, but that move just makes me invincible. Doe's crazy. Ah, no, no, no. I'll get you for that. No, no. Oh my gosh, stop doing that. Ah. He's going all out. He realized that the dough is too powerful. And he is dead. Your stupid meteors have nothing on me. Alright, next up is Swan. Now, Swan uses Awakened String, I believe. Which is pretty scary. Because String has a ton of stuns. But why is he getting shredded? Look at him. He's getting shredded. Absolutely shredded. Oh my gosh. I forgot he had a second form. <laughs> oh boy. That's probably why he was getting shredded. Because he has a second form. Ah! Oh my god, that does so much damage. And he actually try against this dude. Dang, he sure does do a lot of damage, but he has no health, and he's dead. Alright, next up is the Smoke Admiral. Did anyone else know this was like a gate? If you, like, Roller Donut... Roller Donut, that's the Unawakened one. Scorching Donut into it, it just breaks. Alright, Smoke Admiral. Let's see if you can beat me. I doubt any boss in this video can beat me, honestly. Besides Kate Queen. I bet Kate Queen can definitely beat me. Ah, I'm blind. Okay. And he is dead. Alright, next up is the Ice Admiral. The Awakened Ice Admiral. Let's see if he's any match for Doe. He seems to be getting pretty destroyed. Although he does have a lot of stuns, so... I gotta be somewhat careful, but not that careful. Ah! Ah! I'm fine. Please don't turn me into an ice cube. I'm not a big fan of that. No! He cancelled my move. He's comboing me. And he is dead. Alright, next up is the Tide Keeper. Now this guy summons sea beasts, so we'll have to deal with the sea beasts. Or you could just ignore them. I don't know, he has a lot of health. This is like, the one difficult boss in second C. Oh, and there's a sea beast. Okay, um, hmm... Maybe if I kill the sea beast, that, that's not going to kill the sea beast. I got to kill the sea beast. Okay. I did a little bit of damage. Oh boy, he summoned another one. C come on. He's so close to dying. He's so close. Just die. Yes. Okay. We still have to kill the sea beast. Alright. 
150 Robux I've spent on this game pass today. Alright, first up is Stone. Now this guy is pretty easy compared to Tidekeeper. This move just makes you invincible. Oh yeah, he does have that move, which is pretty good. But, sadly for him, it will not be able to defeat me. Hey, he made himself float by doing a move. This guy is pretty smart, but he's bad at the game, so he's dead. Now, this boss can actually be pretty difficult because of her love moves that just stun you every half a second. Hopefully, I can defeat her without any trouble. She does do a lot of damage also. Doe is too good. Normally, I would be getting destroyed, but I can just be invincible because of piercing clothesline. Ow. Not cool. I don't have any moves. Help. Get away. Normally, it's not this easy to defeat Island Empress. I guess that's just the power of Doe. And she is dead. Alright, next up is Kilo Admiral. Kilo should not have an Admiral. And especially not one that's actually strong. Wow, you can dodge that with Instinct? I thought Kilo broke Instinct. Seems like another easy boss. Easy dubs. Wait, hold on. I actually don't want to die. That would not be cool. Alright, and she is dead. Alright, next up is Captain Elephant. He uses twin hooks. Um, Hopefully, I don't die. I probably won't, though. Alright, he's on half health. Alright, and Captain Elephant is dead. Next up is Beautiful Pirate. And Beautiful Pirate will take 800,000 years. So, I'm gonna get my friend to help me. Alright, it's time to die, Beautiful Pirate. Now, Beautiful Pirate has two phases, just like Swan and the fish dude from First Sea. With two people, it should be pretty easy. Combo. Oh my gosh. Look at that ultimate combo. Alright, he's in second phase. I thought he just, like, got to second phase when he was, like, dead. But apparently, he goes to second phase when he's, like, half health. Now, second phase, Beautiful Pirate is very scary because he does so much damage. Holy. Did you guys know that this room is actually under Hydra for some reason? I'm actually gonna die. Ah! No, 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 no. Yes, keep him in the magma. I'm invincible now. Okay. This is really scary. I need to uh, 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 run. Okay. That was really close. Okay, and Cake Queen's insanely difficult too, so my friend's gonna help me with Cake Queen as well. Alright, we should shred Cake Queen because we have a magma user, a venom user, and a dough user. Yeah, normally this boss would be really difficult, but not when you have three people. Look at the shredding. Ow. Destroyed. Look at how much damage we're doing. And he went Venom form too. Hate Queen is done for. Dead. Destroyed. There we go. Well, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. And comment boss in the comment section if you made it this far. And I'll heart your comment. Okay, see ya.